Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In the previous video, you saw how to name an alcohol if a structure is given. In this video, we are going to do opposite. If the name is given, how can we draw the structure? It's pretty simple. There are certain rules. So let's look at the rules. The very first thing we need to look for is the parent name for the alcohol. Is it going to be a chain or ring? But we find out the parent name. After we get that, the next thing is we either draw carbon atom chain or of course if it's a ring, we draw the ring that corresponds to the parent name. When we are done with that, we need to make sure we label the carbon atoms and we number them. Followed after that, we need to make sure we first place the OH group at the assigned position as given in the name. And if there are other substituents, the remaining groups, then we are going to position them as directed in the name of the alcohol. So let's work on some real examples. Here is our first example, butane 2 ol the root name, the parent name is butane. That means we need to make sure we have a chain of carbon atoms which is equal to 4. Let's number them. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And at position 2, it says we have OL. That means we have the OH group. Now the only part which is remaining is to make sure we get exactly the number of hydrogen atoms as needed and there it is that's our 2 butanol and that's our of course numbering of the carbon atoms let's move on to the next one this is pentane 1 3 diol again let's get the carbon atom chain penta stands for phi let's number those so numbering and after that we have to make sure at position 1 and position 3 we got diols alcohol there so there is 1 and this is the 3 so we got diols what is left for us we need to make sure we write down the correct number of hydrogen atoms and there it is Always make sure to count the number of bonds. We have to make sure the total bonds around carbon are only. Again, this is pentane. So let's get carbon atom chain with five carbon atoms. The numbering from left to right. And then at position two, we got OL. That means OH group. At position four, we got a methyl group that is CH3 and now complete hydrogen atoms that is CH, CH2, CH over here and CH3. Be careful for position number 2 and 4 we only have one hydrogen atom there. Again it's easier if we actually count the number of bonds around carbon atom. I am pretty sure you're finding it all easy. But let's do a few more examples. This is hexanol. Hexa stands for 6 carbon atom. So there we go. We got 6 carbon atom. Then we need to make sure we number those. And at position number 2, we got methyl group. At position number 3, we got ethyl group. That is CH2, CH3. We can actually put that together as either CH2, CH3 or we can also write down that as C2H5 as an ethyl group. And now what about alcohol? If the numbering is not given for alcohol, that means it's going to be at position number 1. So that's the alcohol. And now we need to make sure we got exact number of hydrogen atoms. So there it is. That is CH. We got four bonds. 
This will be CH2, CH2 and CH3. In case if you are in doubt, you can also end up drawing all the bonds for carbon atom and then keep on filling those with hydrogen as needed. So that way you will have exact number of hydrogen atoms as needed. How about one more example? This is a cyclic alcohol, cyclopentanol. Penta stands for phi. That means we need to have five-membered cyclic ring. Now, there is no number given for pentanol, so you can actually begin numbering from whichever position is good for you. I'm going to begin numbering with that, and that's my alcohol 1OH there. The remaining I can go either left to right clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever way I prefer. So I prefer to go clockwise here. At position 2, what do we got? We got bromine. And at position 3, we got ethyl group. So it will be CH2, CH3. How about one final one? Phenol. Phenol is a name given when the ring which we have is actually a benzene ring and to the benzene ring we have OH group attached. Now benzene ring could be drawn like this with the alternate double bond. So that is an example of phenol. We can also draw benzene structure with just a circle around that to indicate the resonance of the double bonds and we can have that OH group attached at one position. So there you go. You got that as phenol. So, so guess what? I am pretty sure you got the idea. And now with any given name of alcohol, you would be able to draw the correct structure. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.